We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the San Diego Padres and the Atlanta Braves. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the one and one pitch is a ball below the zone. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. Three and two, full count. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Osmer in front now a three and one count. Tommy Pham waits on deck. And a two two sinker falls in there three and two now. Full count. Line towards center field and that's going to be a base hit here for Hosmer. Batting third. The left fielder. Tommy Pham. Stepping in now. Tommy Pham. On the ground is short. This could be two. Scooped up over to Albies. Back to Freeman. Not in time. And they'll just get the one. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Throw over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Drill down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. So up steps Ozzy Albies. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 1-1. One, one. In his career, Albies hits a little over the 270 mark. Line to the right side. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. Nick Markakis digging in now. He comes into this one having sputtered out of the gate this season. The average is under the 200 mark at this point. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings in Freddie Freeman. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. The one two. Nope. Oh. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Another try at two two. Popped him up. Machado has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Second inning set to go. Here's Manny Machado now. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna is under it. And that's the first out of the inning.
Digging in now for San Diego. Will Myers. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1 home. Is in there for strike number two. No score here as we play inning number two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. The Cunha is there now and he has it two gone. Brian Dozier at the plate. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Acuna digs in now. The 1 1 home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And that's out number one. Here's Marcelo Zuna, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the 2-1. Bottom of the second here with no score. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ligara's on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. 1-1. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So that keeps the bottom of the second going. At the plate now, Charlie Culberson. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Now another 1 2. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to 2 and 2. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he popped him up. Tatis over to his left, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Francisco Mejia, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now the 2-1. is looked at for ball three. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Full count still. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Up next, it'll be the pitcher for the Padres, Chris Paddock. And we'll likely see him square around a bunt. And he tries to bunt here with two strikes, but he's out. Here's Juan Ligaris now. He's got a base hit tonight. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Mejia, base runner at first with one out. 2 and 1 to Juan Ligaris. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. 
No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Full count now, three and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. This pitch is popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into third. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move now up from second to third. The first baseman, Eric. At the plate, oh. Eric Hosmer. That's Sinker misses yeah. that time, and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and one to him now. Now Hosmer with a swing and a deep drive to right. Back goes Mark Hankis. Gone! Into the box, Tommy Pham. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. In now, Fernando Tatis Jr. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. But this will land untouched. The one-two. Ball. Three runs already home here. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. Another payoff pitch. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. To second for one. Relay to Freddie. Double play, and that'll end the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Austin Riley. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. Really They're only good. down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. So the base that is, is empty it. here with one away, no and Mike Soroka will bat next. No. Oh Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Bases are empty. One man out. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Now the three and two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Next to the plate for the Padres, Manny Machado. He flew out in his last at bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Pulls this one in the air out to left. He's around first, heading for two. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. To the plate now, Will Myers. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. And there's one down now. Here's Brian Dozier now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Three runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2.
hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now in the box, Francisco Mejia. Runner in scoring position with two guns. Mejia. Sinker misses, ball four. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Chris Paddock. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The pitcher with Paddock. A 1 1 home. Taken, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. And another foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Skied into very shallow right. Marquecas has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping in for the Braves, Freddie Freeman, the winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for first baseman in the National League. Here now the 2-2. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. The next to bat for Atlanta, Ronald Acuna. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Two balls, one strike. Chopped down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And that'll bring now in Marcelo Zuna. The, the two one. one. Bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Ligares. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Three and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Line drive to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Now it's the catcher, Tyler Flowers. A 1 1. Weak grounder back to the mound. 
And that's the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in the Georgia native, Charlie Culberson. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Swings through it for strike number two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad, not good. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting, third baseman. So now to the plate, Austin no Riley. Way. And he'll lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Ender Inciarte will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fouled off. He stays alive, still two and two. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Your Shane Green play. takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound. Number 19. Jane. Next will be the cleanup Green. hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr., as he'll be the first to hit for the Friars in their half of the sixth inning. Now the one and one pitch. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And in steps Manny Machado. Head to head battles with Shane Green. He's gone three for eight. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And it's fouled away. Three runs, five hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Will Myers. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Misses two and one. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Brian Dozier would be next if they can keep this inning alive. In the air to straightaway right. Marcakis has a read on it. And that's the third out. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Albies comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Count even at two and two. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Stepping in now, Nick Markakis. 
And Marcakis lays off here. It's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Into the box now, Freddie Freeman. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ronald Acuna. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Long throw to third. Luis Perdomo takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. At the plate now, Marcelo Zuna. On the ground to second base. This could be two. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, so the call's gone out for the right-hander Mark Melanson as he'll take over on the mound. Now at the plate, Brian Dozier. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Now ball in two strikes now. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Francisco Mejia. It was a walk in his last trip. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And there's out number two. Greg Your Garcia will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two Number out five. and the base is empty. Greg Garcia. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. The center fielder, number seven, Juan Ligaris. Standing in now, Juan Ligaris. Line drive to left. Ozuna is there, and he'll make Rick the catch to retire the side. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. Greg Stammen gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Now at the play, Tyler Flowers. One for two on his line so far in the game. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left, no chance at bringing this one back into the second deck and gone. At the plate, Charlie Culberson. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. 
to two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Driven nicely into the gap. Through first and hustling for second. And he'll get in there easily as the time runs at second now with nobody yeah, out. The third baseman. Okay. To the plate now, Austin Riley. No too high that time, and it's three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Fouled away. The next 3-2. On a line, that's a base hit. Culberson ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the play. We are knotted at three. Emilio Pagan comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Adani Echevarria will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 24, Adani Echevarria. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. On the ground, up the middle. There's one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Now back. So base is empty now baseman. after the double play. Oh, and standing in is the switch oh, hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Misses ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Into the box, Freddie Freeman. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Three and two now. Here's the payoff pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Myers going back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Drew Pomerantz takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Stepping in now, Ronald Acuna. Two and two. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, and now this ball's in the air to deep right center. Back goes Ligaris to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Darren O'Day has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Two balls and a strike. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. The 2-1 home. Lifted the other way to left center. After it is Acuna. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. At the play, Tommy Pham. He was robbed of a hit in his last at bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah, you got to control the controllables, Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. You cannot control the defensive wizardry on the other side. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Throw in time at first for route number two. Ready for another chance? Fernando Tatis Jr. He was a ground out victim last time up.
Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Kirby Yates is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 39, Kirby. Bottom of the inning now, striding into the box, Marcelo Zuna. The three and one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that's going to land foul. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in and looking for more. Charlie Culberson. Two for three with a double on his line so far. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Hit out towards second. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Up next for Atlanta, the third baseman, Austin. At the plate now, Austin Riley. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Will Smith comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth. All set to start the ninth in this one. So stepping in, Manny Machado. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. And it's one and two. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. Now Stepping back. in, Wait Will Myers. He could really yeah. use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 2 1 pitch it is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This pitch is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Popped him up. Freeman moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. In now, Brian Dozier, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. San Diego down to their final strike. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And now a crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. Duvall is there for it, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. 
Who knows how long this will last. And tonight's comes to an end. 6-3 to three the final. The Atlanta Braves jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Mark Melanson gets the win in relief his second of the year. Will Smith earns the save out of the bullpen his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ballgame session. For the victorious Atlanta Braves, six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Padres, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 21 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truist Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.